it is time for the results of the chopping block three. Now, I'm sorry it took so long, but I tested a lot of products and I wanted to, you know, have something useful to say, hopefully, about each product. So it took me a minute. If this is your first time watching um, the chopping block, what it is is basically I do a haul first of products and then um, I do the reviews later. So this is the review video. I will link below the haul video so you can see the swatches of all of these items if that's of interest to you, okay? And uh, there'll be another one after this. I'm thinking about doing an all drugstore version. Let me know if that would be you know interesting to you or if you prefer a mix of high end and low end okay here we go with the products there were a lot of things I loved so much this week I was so excited to use these products and um, they really 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 were good some of these things okay the first thing I want to tell you about is the uh, spray and go moisturizer by Vaseline um, I got the cocoa radiant and I would say I am a pretty dry skin person uh, oily face dry skin and I would say this worked best for me as a touch-up product um, I still found that I needed to uh, put something thicker on but this was great for touch-ups during the day you know when you're about to go out again um, you know it's maybe afternoon and you're about to go out again to dinner or something like that this is a great touch-up product but I needed more than this um, it dry one of the things that I will say is I was worried about is that's Max chewing his bone if you hear the crunching um, one of the things I was worried about was would this be too greasy and it's not it's one of those things where you smooth it into your skin and you can put a shirt over top of it that kind of a thing doesn't didn't stain my clothes in any way so uh, I like this I will keep this on hand but again it was a great touch-up product for me not you know just all I need um, from here on out as far as a, a moisturizing lotion you know for me all right this was gorgeous okay boys don't cry is an amazing blush by NARS it's way too expensive it's 41 bucks uh, that overspray comes off really really easily and it gives you a nice kind of a glow but once that's gone you're gonna be left with a pretty pigmented orange blush I loved it um I think uh, I needed a tiny bit, so you don't need very much for it to really show up on your cheeks, which is nice. At $41, you could have this forever. Um, it's a larger size than the regular NARS blushes. If you want something that will last you forever and you want to invest in a larger size that you can use year after year, I would recommend this. Um, there are going to be a lot of dupes for this, though, uh, that you can get at a lower price point. But I wouldn't say it's a must-have. It's a, a nice-to-have, definitely. All right. This I did not like. This is the uh, Remmel Exaggerate Undercover Shadow Primer, and I swatched it in the haul video, and that was kind of a clue as to what was to come for this. Um, this is one of the um, not the greatest primers I've ever used for my eyes. Um, the colors didn't necessarily run, but I was more prone to creasing when I used cream products with this. That's the thing that I did notice. Um, it helped my eyeshadows stay, uh, the, the powder shadows, uh, excuse me, the powder shadows stayed really well, but the cream colors, it, it, I got some creasing when I used cream colors, like color tattoos, that kind of a thing. So I was pretty disappointed in this. So it is not like I was hoping it would be just like my NARS, um, which is a great, you know, and looks the same, kind Kind of uh, primer because I love a primer that has a, a, a wand that kind of a thing but yeah it was very very disappointing and a little under five bucks I was hoping it would be great uh, but I would suggest to anybody check out the Milani primer if you want a low-cost eye primer that does what you need it to do definitely all right these color tattoo pigments I enjoyed using them I have some on my eye definitely a, a nice product um, I really think that if you choose wisely um, you're not going to need every color. Like, I don't need the pink, uh, the blue. I, if you choose wisely, colors that you will like and will use, I think these are a great, great investment. Um, the only thing design-wise that I wished I wasn't, I'm asking a whole lot for a $7 product. These are like $6.99 most places. I learned the hard way to store them this way uh, with the, uh, you know, UPC code, I guess, up instead of you know like this way because they do not have a I didn't keep the plastic thing which I should have uh, because you know most of my colors came out so you have to be careful how you store them but other than that they're good colors um, I preferred wearing them over cream bases just to intensify the color like today on my eyes what I have is a product I loved okay this chubby stick in fuller fudge I put that all over my eye then I put which is 
it's seriously the same color almost improper collar uh, copper collar <laughs> improper co copper and this chubby stick and fuller fudge are like the same color it's really really neat so I put it over this this is fantastic I love this this will be on the top of the vanity vanity like very few eye products make it to the top of the vanity but this I could use every day it's perfect everyday product fuller fudge look at that I love that it twists up I like really went to town on this the thing that makes this so useful to me is that you could draw this on your eye it's like a crayon you could draw this on your eye and you barely need to do any smudging out of it it glides on your eye perfectly like I looked at my eye the first time I used it and I was like okay I know I'm gonna have to smudge I'll use either my finger maybe a brush but most likely my finger and I just went like that and it was like it's already perfectly on there amazing amazing for $16 not bad uh, love this chubby stick it's great 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 um, it was easy to go under my eyes with the color as well so really really nice okay this was really great too and I love this liner I use that today too this is the Maybelline Master Smoky and I got it in black smoke if you like to blend out your liner um, so it doesn't look so harsh this is the perfect product for you okay this the tip is I've worn it down but the tip is nice it is a fatter tip uh, fatter marker so not like a regular pencil liner not as skinny they give you the uh, this and I gotta figure out if I can wash this bad boy because it's got like improper copper and fuller fudge all over it um, fantastic you do your line and you smudge it out you could even do a whole smoky eye look I did that one day I should have done that for you one day I will do that for you where basically all I have is use or all I use is this to make a smoky black eye it looked great um, but yeah fantastic would highly recommend this I'm figuring out what color I need next because I love the black smoke that'll be a staple but another color would be good love this as well I knew I would though Dior show iconic over curl mascara I used it today I love Dior mascaras as a whole so I figured I would love this but this is really special because I like the curl I went like used it today and, and on the days I used it I could get like almost three coats before it clumped up but it clumps up in a nice way to me um, if you like YSL's faux sills mascara you would probably like this because that's a mascara that kind of clumps up you know you'll get two lashes that stick together and it, it it's clumped but it looks kind of good I don't know how to, else to explain it it's kind of a good clump uh, <laughs> which is so weird the $30 mascara so not a must-have but I I was really pleased with it because every once in a while I do like to throw up a, a nice <laughs> throw up I like to throw up a nice uh, you know high-end mascara in there not as great as my Armani eyes to kill which is like my holy grail uh, high-end mascara but something I would definitely repurchase all right this I loved okay this is the wet n wild perfect pout lip gloss uh, in hot 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 uh, from the Fergie, Fergie collection. This, I believe, is the summer collection, therefore limited edition, and I already got another one. Uh, I got another one at Walgreens the other day. It's $3.49. Check these out. Um, this does not lend a lot of color to my lips. It is just a super glossy gloss. You know what? This is in my purse. I know I say that all the time. You should see my purse, my makeup bag, so many lip products. It's all lip products. It's disgusting. Anyway, um, this is the gloss I was using when my lips were sore you know this is just the super moisturizing gloss not a lot of color just looks really fresh and pretty my mom liked it last week I wore it um, because something else kind of irritates my lips that I'm about to tell you about uh, but yeah this is just a perfect if your lips are in need of super super moisturization super super shiny natural look very tiny hint of color to my pigmented lips but this is great and I got a backup already Mac okay Riri boy I didn't like as much as I thought that's the kind of like the purple one didn't like this as much as I thought I would I kind of like it it's a deeper version of up the amp to me I kind of like it but I want to gloss it over just because of the color and that's just me something about the color just doesn't look good that dry whereas a red like the Riri -ri woo or this uh ho <laughs> looks really good matte I just for some reason the purple doesn't look as good matte to me so I wanted to really desperately put a gloss over it I'm not a fan of the retro matte formula and I knew that going in uh, what I always do is put some balm on um, one of the ones I'm using right now is the Sally Hansen plumping lip primer it is very inexpensive under ten dollars has a little minty tingle to it doesn't bother me but I put that on first and then um, put a lipstick like this on I 
have real trouble wearing this bare on my lips. So uh, I did enjoy Ho though. That is the uh, my favorite out of the two. It's just a deeper color and looks really, really nice matte. So that was my uh, preferred one. Chanel's uh, Cinema. This was a beautiful red cream. Love it. Just as what, you know, I, I love Chanel polishes. Um, I put a base coat on and a top coat on. They don't last as long as, you know, like a Dior on me, like a week. Dior lasts a week on me. They don't last that long. I got a good four days without a problem with this. It's a nice, nice creamy red formula. Again, a nice to have, not a must have. Okay, the Chanel blush. Here's what I have to say about that. This was a hard one. I really liked what it did for me. I have it on now. I really, really preferred to put a powder over top. If you want to see what I'm wearing it, you know, again, it's going to be below. But I really, really preferred with this color to just have it on and then put a powder on top of it because this will last all day. I know this. It's a really nice color. I got, uh, gosh, what is it called? Uh, fantastic. I got fantastic. It's a really, really pretty, pretty color. Very, very well pigmented. I liked putting it on, tapping it on with my fingers, and then blending. It's kind of a, a, a very careful process to putting it over your foundation. Um, so I will say that. I like this. Uh, at $38, I think this, that's it for me. I was interested in the orange. I think I'm good. It's just very, like, you put it on, you tap it on, and then you blend it, and this is way too much. I'm sorry, what I, I hadn't planned to do this, so I, when I when I reached in there, I got too much. But you just tap it in, and you just you know like that. And of course, that's again too much. But you can see how it taps out, and it looks. It can you can make it look very natural. But it's not something you could do without a mirror. It's not something you could do in a a super super hurry is what I'm saying. You know, once you once I got into it, I was able to do it very, very quickly, but the color is gorgeous. I mean, if you like a nice fuchsia, this is great. I'm glad I tried it. Wouldn't purchase another one, but that's just me. $38, I've got plenty of oranges, and you know, like that NARS one, you know, that I'm really, really happy with. Uh, but yeah, it, it really taps out nice. I found my fingers to be the best. I tried a brush, but I found I was getting too much product if I dipped a brush into the Chanel cream. I actually like this mascara too. I was so surprised. This is the uh, new Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless Fiber Mascara. So surprised. I was so worried because traditionally I do not like fiber mascaras. This is a nice mascara. Please let me know if you have a mascara from Rimmel that you like. I haven't really found one yet. This is really good to me, uh, but I haven't really found one that's kind of like my Rimmel mascara uh, that I love. This is Extreme Black. I like the wand. Um, it works really well in the lashes. I would say you can get a couple coats in before there starts to be a problem, and your lashes aren't really going to be stiff afterward. Now, I have the Dior on, excuse my finger, and my my lashes are not stiff. The, this doesn't make your lashes stiff either. So if you're that girl that doesn't like stiff, you know, <laughs> lashes, um, that might be a good a mascara to try. Okay, the Hourglass, I loved. Uh, this is very, very subtle. I have it on now. See that subtle little glow? It's not huge. It's not huge, but it's very, very pretty and looks like you're glowing from, from within. I always have a special place for products that look so natural on the skin that it makes you look like you're glowing. Um, it's Radiant Light. I love the little brush. Oh, this little brush feels good. It's an extra expense, but man, oh, it makes me feel good. Um, yeah, so Radiant is the color that I picked up. Really, really nice staple in the collection because it looks so natural. This is the kind of thing that I could wear on a natural look day, and people wouldn't say, Oh, she's got something on there up in those upper cheeks. She's trying to glow like JLo. It's not that crazy, you know? It's more like, Ooh, she looks youthful, and I like that. Um, this was pretty good. This is Neutrogena's Moisture Shine Gloss. I got it in potent plum. Very, very nice gloss. I don't know if I'd purchase another. It's uh, just very hard to get enough out on the wand. Like every time I pulled it out, there's like hardly anything on the wand. That kind of annoys me. Uh, but once you get it on your lips, it's really nice. So uh, Neutrogena Moisture Shine, Shine Gloss. It's great. Towards the end of this video, I can't talk. So yeah, I wouldn't purchase another, but it's a nice gloss, nice color. Uh, really, really pretty, 
subtle purple with a little bit of shimmer to it. So very, very nice. It will top the heck out of a lipstick. That was my favorite way to use it, is a little bit of a kind of understated topper to a good lipstick that was in the same, you know, color family. All right, this Lorac. This Lorac Touch and uh, Touch Up to Go Concealer Foundation Pen. I had to go deep on this. And when I say deep, what I mean is I had to like talk to some people and figure out like what they use this for because I was just like, <sighs> but you know what? This is fantastic for touch ups to go, like it's named. Um, you know, you need a little more concealer. See, I need a little more concealer. It's great for this, okay? So this is a great thing if you need something like that in your purse, if you're a little, little paranoid like moi, and you were worried about, you know, your concealer fading on you. This is great for me because I'm always testing stuff. My face is usually a testing zone for these kinds of products for these videos. So I'm always worried, is this concealer gonna hold up if I'm out for four hours? So this is gonna be a very, very good thing. Now I used it as kind of like a, a foundation and I found it to be very nice for that as well because blended out, it looks very, very natural. The color I have is CF12, so it's a very, very good match. I found it to be a nice product. A little bit much comes out when you click it, so you have to be very careful of the clicker. I didn't want to waste any, because God knows there's not a whole lot in here at the price point that it you know, it costs. Um, but yeah, I found this to be nice. I was able to really do my whole face, even though that's using so much of it. Um, that it scares me. I would rather use it as a touch-up product, definitely. So guys, that is everything. I hope that was helpful to you. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then uh, do another chopping block, maybe uh, the end of next week, start another one, number four. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on what you'd like it to be, a mix of high-end products and low-end or a drugstore one, you know, just for a little bit of a change-up. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you're having a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.